Are you ready? Hi, um, I'm Patty Compton, and we're with the Music Preserve stage at the Duhini Blues Festival here in uh, gorgeous Dana Point. And um, we got a chance to catch up with the Delgado brothers. So um, they played their set this morning, and um, it was amazing. So we're going to chat with them a little bit about um, what they've been doing. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, how, I mean, have you guys played the festival before? Welcome. Have you uh, played I'm, before? I'm Joey Delgado. Joey? Uh -huh. Yeah, so uh, the last time we played this festival was in actually uh, 2000 with John Duke Logan and Doug McLeod. And, and we, had, we had just recorded our album, uh, Let's Get Back. So, actually, this year is our 20th anniversary of that album. And so, um, you know, we kind of make it, paid a tribute to John Duke Logan and, and also to Ramon Banda. Our percussionist has played with us and he's not feeling too well. So, you know, we had a lot of emotion packed into this performance. And um, Mark Liddell, uh, the promoter, yeah, yeah, so Mark Mark calls me up back in uh, January, February. He goes, hey, Joey D, you still have your band together? I said, no. I was like, kind of rolled my eyes. I go, yeah, we've been playing for over 45 years, almost 50 years together. Yeah, we, we, we still have our band. And we, uh, we just released our latest record called Two Trains on our own label. Uh, last August, and um, I'm, we're very proud of it. I mean, it's it took a lot of work, and but the song's all original stuff. And so, anyway, that's what we did today. Our performance was based on our latest release. So, wow. yeah. So you played this festival 20 years ago, and now you're playing now. I love it. Can you believe that? I, no, I believe you it. We weren't even born. I, yet. No, God. <laughs> uh, I was probably here. No. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah. So, um, so you guys have got a new record that's that's out. Um, so, want to tell me a little bit more about that? Well, it's called Two Trains, and uh, it's been out. We, we it came out last year in August, and uh, the concept, the concept of the of the music, is like we've well, like we've always done is write about family. We write about the world and and the world that we live in, and it's just like, and and it, what's so great about like our fans is they come to see the Delgado brothers and they say, man, I feel like I got my Delgado brothers fix. Yeah. And what that means is that they they feel like like now I feel all right like I everything's yeah, okay yeah. everything's gonna be all right yeah and that's yeah. and that's what I I love about our band I think that's what we bring to the music is that we we bring the message of of love and brotherhood yeah that's an amazing thing to be bringing to people right. you know where right. I especially nowadays yeah especially nowadays we're trying to bring people together on you know on, on in the world and. And I think we do a good job with that. The other thing, like uh, the the concept of the two trains record, it has to do with our the our musical career path that we have taken. You know, um, Robert Cray is playing later on today, mm -hmm. and in 1987 we were signed to the same label. We were both we were both on high tone, and we used to call uh, Robert Cray Young Bob. That was his <laughs> nickname, and he's you know he's just like us. We're not as young as we as we look. <laughs> anyway, but. Um, so it's everything's gone full circle, but but me, me, you know, meanwhile, Robert Cray has gone on the world. He he probably performs two or three hundred times a year, yeah. whereas we perform primarily on the weekends or whenever we have the opportunity. And but to sustain our financial, you know, whatever, right. we have to have maintain day jobs. Day jobs. Yeah. <laughs> and but you know, we've we've managed that. I think it's a it's a great uh, example of how you can manage uh, your financial. Uh, stability and then also have the creative stability yeah, of uh, what yeah, you have yeah. so people honestly people a lot, a lot of people don't know that we have day job and our day job people don't know that we're musicians Interesting, yeah. so <laughs> so we what we did with this record is we basically came out and said okay we're telling you the truth right. we are now two trains this is how we do what we do and we you know uh, and I really believe that uh, it couldn't have happened any other way if we would have been on the road 300 days a year, we never Stevie would never would have written the songs that he's written. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like a trade-off, you know. We don't have the financial and and uh, commercial success that you know that we aspire to, but someday we might. Yeah, yeah. But and I and I believe that if we do ever get that success, it's going to be on our own terms and it's, it's going to be incredible. Yes. So. Yes, yes. Because when you play music like the blues and and, and music, um, you know y you have to be true to what what your yeah, what exactly. your music is. So right. if you're just doing it for money, then it yeah, just it's it gonna yeah. it shows and it's gonna it's pop and then it's gonna fall away. You know if you're doing it like 
for real. For real, which is a lot of blues people, a lot of people that play this festival, you know, they do it because they love it and it's right. their their passion and their music and so if the money comes, great. If it does, if it, you know, if it doesn't, so. I, yeah, I, I can't wait to have financial ruin. That's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so wait a minute, you guys are brothers, right? right so yeah. did you guys play as kids a lot? You oh, guys yeah. are from L.A., right? This is the great story. Uh-huh. So my brother Bob, who's uh, the eldest member of this current version of the Delgado Brothers Band, uh, we grew up on what was called the East L.A. rock and roll scene. And so everybody had bands back in the 60s. Nobody had gangs. They were like, wow. there'd be like five or six guys per band, and they would travel around in 63 Chevys with the gear and the band members and play three or four gigs a night. So that, that was, that, it was amazing. But, but, you know, the thing was, those musicians played covers. They never, nobody played original material except for my brother, band, my, my older brother, Eddie, who was in the Ambertones. They were aspiring to be original artists, but they never really achieved, you know, that major success like the Midnighters or... Uh, Al Chicano or, or Tierra or you know the other bands, but what they you know the what the other East LA bands did, they wrote their own music, and so so I think that makes a big difference. Like when you're you're trying to to be in this music business for reals, you have to be original. You yeah. can't oh, you can't you can't be playing covers. Uh, the exception being, I would think like you know Los Lobos, who were an amazing band, and they they did as a favor they recorded La Bamba, right? right? right. Which which early on they, yeah. <laughs> which which early on they regretted, but at the same time it allowed them the the exposure to yeah. to you know perform what they actually do, and they're great. There's nothing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. God, you know. Yeah, no, but you have to. I mean, an artist will create their own music, right. you know. So yeah, I, to be, I agree. You know, to be next level, yeah. you know, you're, you you got to be, and, you know, writing and and creating. And and you know the thing about with with the Delgado Brothers band is that. You know, I never claim to be like, oh my God, you know, no one's ever done this before. That's not true because, you know, the, the, our influences come from so many different right. points of, of, of uh, like, you know, with the Beatles or B.B. Uh, King, Robert Cray, you know, all these different things. And what, what that does is make us unique because we interpret right. What, right. We, what we receive and, and make it our own. That's what I love about music and musicians is they take in all their influences right. and then they create their own thing. And you know, I was interviewing some younger artists lately and they're saying that they're part of their influences are the old stuff and then they've got like 90s grunge mixed right, in or whatever, yeah. you know, but but that would be appropriate yeah, for that right. generation because everyone takes in their influences, yeah. you know. So who were, who were some of your guys' big influences when you were young? Uh, probably uh, Donny Hathaway. Would, for me, would be probably number one as a vocalist because Donny Hathaway was probably the best singer that ever lived. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, so <laughs> I remember as a kid listening to Donny Hathaway and just thinking, "Wow, I mean this this guy, I mean this singing from a a place that that I I didn't understand when I was early. Yeah. When when I was an early age, when you're young, but when yeah. I grew older. I thought, okay, I, I kind of get it. I get it, yeah. I, I kind of get it because his. We're still learning. <laughs> yeah. Still learning. No, I agree. Yeah. I, and I think I think we're all we're always learning. If you're open to always right. learning, I feel like I'm always learning and growing too. You know. Are and, you an artist? No. Well, no. And I, <laughs> but in my but in my you know pursuit of you know uh, music preserves, we're educating. What we're doing now is we're educating um, about the history of American music. And we're bringing, um, you know, we just had a great interview with the blues historian. So we're, we're, my, my, how I'm growing is I'm growing in, you know, my my passion of of taking everything I've learned through my life and and translating it into educating the next generation right. about music. You well, know? the the thing about the Delgado Brothers Band is, is I'm so blessed that we were received by the blues community. Like like, yeah. you know, no one no one ever says. Oh, the Delgado Brothers, yeah, I like those guys, but they're not real blues. Yeah, strict blues, yeah. Yeah, nobody says that about us because I think because our music is uh, created from a place of passion and it's, and it's real. So I think that's what blues music is too. I mean, I would never, compl I mean, say that I'm, I'm like the next Robert you know, Johnson or, uh, I mean, even Eric Clampton would tell you that, you know. He's, yeah, oh yeah. He, you know, so he, he always gives credit to the, so I think as, a, as, as somebody, as an artist, that truly wants to do what they do, they have to propel the history forward and make it their own. Right. And so I think that's what we do, you know, and I'm proud of it. You know, I, I think it's a great, great yeah. way to 
I love you guys. You guys are so, um, you know, authentic and real, and I feel the, the like, oh. love for the music and everything. I love it. But I also love what you just said about how artists are always, you know, most artists are giving tri tribute back. You know, like, right. even big artists, like Eric Clapton, like, right. gives tribute to Robert Johnson, and the Rolling Stones give tribute to Muddy yeah, Waters. Muddy well, you know, oh like, like, Isn't that like, a great story about Rolling Stones? Uh, yeah, yeah, but I just, I just love because they, they get it. They yeah. get that they're standing on the shoulders of Muddy Waters, yeah. you know? Yeah. And, um, you know, I just, I, I just love that, yeah. you know? And Bonnie Raitt does the same thing, too. Yeah. You know, she's, she's also a, a great uh, advocate, I mean, uh, yeah, 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 advocate for the blues, yeah. and she, I mean, she knows that she knows the history, Absolutely. and that's the thing. Like, like anything, you know, you have to know your history. You have right. to know where the music comes from and, and what inspired you. Right. And and so when I perform myself, is uh, I think of all the people that you know, not only like the superstar influences, but my local heroes. You know, the guy that right. actually taught me how to play my guitar. Yeah. And yeah, I feel yeah. it. And I see people in the audience, and and that's what I that inspires me. Yeah, yeah. It brings me, it makes me cry every time. Yeah. No, I. I feel that where there's always like the one teacher or influence or somebody somebody sparked your love for it right. somebody sparked your interest and somebody you know you saw one concert one time and it made yeah. you go oh my god I'm doing I that. Do that you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah and, and and you just mentioned you know that you had this you know love of this you know singer like and people have their like one right. thing that like started it so well I, and, and as a as an indie note or whatever i don't know how long this interview is going to go but we're i do i do i do want to mention that you know the 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 most thing that I, uh, i'm proud of is that the delgado brothers are playing an event like doheny right. and we're playing all our original music nobody tells us what to play what to do anything we show up we do our thing and they pay us you know great money yeah, yeah. i mean compared to like you know playing a local yeah, bar yeah. or whatever but you know they they get it mm -hmm. and i and i that's what i'm really proud of yeah. i think that's that's the big the yeah big we have to give credit to rich sherman and omega events yeah, for that right. for like because yeah. he understands you know you guys he understands all these different bands and that and, and that the, the crowd wants it and he needs you know he brings in a great array and he lots of times he does bring people back Right. You know, like this is your guys the second yeah, time yeah, back. 20 years later. I love it. But you know what? But like I think that's be 80 years old. I think I, yeah. <laughs> I hope I hope to see you guys back no, here yeah, before we'll be before back. the next 20 years. But anyways, thank you guys so much thank for sitting you. down with me. I really appreciate this and and You're I love I love talk oh, I love talking to you guys. I can, I literally could talk to you guys another like hour. <laughs> but uh, but, but we, Casey has we've We've all we've all got stuff to do. Now he's got plenty of time. <laughs> Well, thank you, thank you so much. The Dogato Brothers, Doheny Blues Festival, Music Preserves. 2019. Thank you, 2019. Yeah. Two trains, Dogato Brothers. Two trains. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Promotion. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. You guys Thanks. are so awesome. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Thank That's you cool. so much for making that, Casey. That was awesome. You guys are fantastic. Oh my God. Thank you, Joey. Here's a picture. Where's my phone? Yeah, I got a bunch. You got a, it's still about, get another piece of the Okay, we'll yeah, get a copy of our new CD. Oh, for sure, yeah.